Imagine living in a vertical metropolis with no cars and no pollution, housed in twin high-rises more than 100 miles long, with hanging gardens and spectacular views. This might sound like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but one ambitious country has started to build the world's most extravagant linear smart city, and it looks nothing like your average city. Join us today as we explore this extraordinary upcoming mega project that will eclipse every other megacity construction in the world. Back in 2017, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman first announced the proposed utopian city of Neom, which would be located in the northwest of the Gulf country near the Red Sea. The initiative emerged from Saudi Vision 2030, a plan that seeks to reduce Saudi Arabia's dependence on oil, diversify its economy, and develop public service sectors such as health, education, and tourism. According to the plan, the huge city of Neom will have three main parts. Oxagon, Trujina, and the Line. The Neom Industrial City, also known as Oxagon, is a floating industrial complex shaped like a regular octagon. It will be the largest in the world when completed, and would serve as a port for shipping routes through the Red Sea. Trujina, the first major outdoor skiing destination in the Arabian Peninsula, will be located in Saudi Arabia's highest mountain range. Positioned at approximately 2,600 meters above sea level, it will be a new destination for mountain tourism. The third and most important part of Neom is the Line, a smart linear city which would form the infrastructure spine of the wider Neom megapolis. Now you might be wondering what exactly the Line is. For many years, engineers and architects had found it nearly impossible to visualize the concept of this astonishing megacity. But on the 25th of July this year, the Saudi prince unveiled new details along with a montage of visuals revealing different aspects of this future city. According to the announcement, the line is a 1,640 feet high, 656 feet wide structure that will stretch across 100 miles in a remote stretch of desert and mountain terrain. This long skyscraper structure will be higher than most of the world's existing towers and have a gigantic elegant mirror glass facade. Housed within it is the unconventional utopian smart city. It will be home to 9 million residents and will be built with a footprint of just 34 square kilometers. The line will run entirely on renewable energy with the aid of artificial intelligence, with no roads, cars, or carbon emissions. A high-speed rail similar to the Hyperloop will connect sections of the line, allowing people to travel from one end of the city to the other in just 20 minutes. According to Prince Mohammed, the plans for this city will challenge the conventional flat and horizontal cities and serve as a model for preserving nature while improving human livability. The line will address the issues that modern urban life presents to humans and shed light on better lifestyle options. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about billion-dollar construction projects around the world, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. The line is designed as a series of unique communities and they will be organized in three dimensions of movement, up, down, or across, which is a concept known as zero-gravity urbanism. The line will contain shopping and leisure sites, schools and parks, and residents will have access to all their daily needs within five-minute walk neighborhoods. The city will provide its residents with a wealth of amenities, and AI technology will be leveraged to automate many services, thereby saving time and effort. The city will have digital air, which is free Wi-Fi for all its residents. The city will enable equitable views and immediate access to the surrounding nature. Within the structure, intelligent solutions will create a year-round temperate microclimate with natural ventilation. Also, the city is supposed to draw on cloud seeding technology to make artificial clouds, which will produce more rainfall than naturally possible in the desert. Energy and water supplies in the city will be 100% renewable, making the line a fully sustainable city. Along with it, the government of Saudi Arabia would build new industries in Neom, and drive the next wave of the energy transition by producing green hydrogen. In addition, the city will operate independently from Saudi Arabia's existing governmental framework, with its own tax and labor laws and an autonomous judicial system. 
More importantly, 40% of the world will be accessible within six hours at the heart of the globe's key trade routes, a place for commerce and communities to prosper. Project Neon was first announced in 2017. Since then, it has consistently raised eyebrows due to proposed flourishes such as flying taxis and robot maids. Even architects and economists have questioned its feasibility. Despite all the skepticism, construction of Neom City officially began in 2019. Neom City was initially scheduled to open in 2025, but delays have pushed back Neom's completion date by a further five years. Yet, the Crown Prince insists the ambitious project remains on track. The first phase of the project is backed by $500 billion from the Saudi government and the Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund, a sovereign wealth fund chaired by the Prince, as well as local and international investors. The full construction of the line is most likely to cost a whopping $1 trillion once complete. One might wonder why Saudi Arabia is undertaking the most ambitious urban development project in modern times. As stated previously, the line forms part of a rebrand plan called Saudi Vision 2030. With it, the nation aims to rival its Gulf neighbors such as Dubai and Abu Dhabi as travel hotspots and reshape the kingdom's economy. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia is also facing a population boom, with a large percentage of young people looking for employment. With Neom, the region could generate up to 380,000 new jobs. Saudi Arabia's current population is just under 35 million, and projections are for the kingdom to have a population of as many as 50 million by 2030, with more than half of them being foreigners. Aiming to reach 100 million annual visitors by the close of the decade, it is hoped the surge would boost the local economy by billions of dollars. The Crown Prince has stated that a population boom is necessary to make Saudi Arabia the world's biggest crude oil exporter and an economic powerhouse. Neom is being built from scratch for these reasons, and the Prince has made his point clear with a daring question, why should we copy normal cities? Analysts, economists, and architects are still unsure whether this project will actually happen. Even those involved in the project are unsure if Saudi Arabia's vision for an urban utopia will ever be achieved because it is so lavish in scale and scope. The prince is reported to want Saudi Arabia to be as well known internationally as other nations in the region, and he has expressed this desire to his advisors and planners. However, several analysts have questioned if the project can ever get off the ground due to the project's extravagant nature and its numerous manifestations over the past five years. What do you think? Will the line be the ultimate in high-density living, or will it be just a science fiction fantasy? Comment your thoughts below and let us know. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.